Hello, this is Dr. John Berry, and I'm hoping to spend a few moments of your time uh, introducing myself to you and hopefully to share with you why I'm very intrigued about the position at SkyCTC. Uh, first and foremost, let me address that. Uh, I'm very intrigued and interested about the position itself. Uh, this design of the Vice President of Student Affairs incorporating all the elements of student development, uh, enrollment management, some of the institutional and organizational development roles as well, I believe is a culmination of all the experiences that will help all of our students, all of our community members and engagers and partners be successful uh, in their roles and uh, relationships with the college. So that's one. Uh, two is really the people at Sky CTC. Uh, I had the chance to meet several of you this past year at the SACS Accreditation Conference. I went to your session on workplace ethics uh, and building that within the college uh, construct and design. Very intrigued by it, but certainly really appreciated meeting the representatives of the college. Uh, you all did a fantastic job about making sure that we understood what Sky CTC stood for, and I was very engaged in that process. So certainly the position, the people, and then third and form, uh, third is the place. I am very much a Midwesterner at heart. I am uh, from Southern Ohio originally, and I believe that the Midwest environment and the Southern components of that Midwest or the Upper, upper South uh, are really a great place to live and to work and to raise a family. So because of my family living in Southern Ohio, uh, I have actually been very closely connected to the state of Kentucky. Uh, we live in a very small rural area uh, in Southern Ohio. And so when we went to the big city, uh, we actually went to Maysville, Kentucky. <laughs> so uh, definitely those are the three elements, the position, the people, and the place that are very intriguing to me. Uh, opportunities for excellence for Sky CTC that I believe I might be able to help uh, engender. First and foremost would be sort of that development of the overall new strategic plan. Uh, I had a chance to look at your current strategic plan that ends in 2016, and I believe it is very well crafted, very well done, and a great roadmap into the future, but it's time to develop that next step process. And where's the college going? How is it going to get there? To be a part of that process would be very, very exciting. Uh, I think you could continue to differentiate yourself from other two-year institutions, uh, certainly within the state of Kentucky, but uh, nationally as well. Uh, the steps and the foundation that you've taken with that workplace ethics design and development, I think is fantastic. I think it's a wonderful platform to build from, to continue to make your mark uh, within the state and something that's so important in terms of that focus on student success ratios, uh, its application to the workforce, making sure that that partnership with uh, our employers is strong and viable and vital. So I would continue to work on that process. Uh, your focus on student access uh, as well as student success, I think has been tried, true, and proven, but has opportunities to, to continue to expand. Uh, I believe that for every student that wants to participate in the college experience, particularly those that are degree seeking, certificate uh, seeking, they need to have very candid conversations from day one about the investment that they're about ready to embark upon. Uh, that needs to be a very thoughtful, uh, a very direct conversation that the student is going to invest their time, their energy, their resources into this process, and that the college is there to partner with them to help uh, provide them opportunities for success, but it is a true partnership. Uh, so having that candid conversation, really focusing on that from the very critical components of first uh, touch points within the college through orientation and mandatory orientation processing. Uh, I like to use a process what I call MAPS, Maximizing Academic Progress within the college environment, is sitting down with each and every student, uh, particularly through the orientation process, and mapping out what their goal plan is. What is it that you want to do and why are you here? Uh, so often we focus on the, okay, I'm here for a degree or certificate, and absolutely, we know that's true. But there are many students that come to us for, I need professional development, uh, a sequence of three or four classes that are going to help me with a promotion at work. Fantastic, but we need to know that. We need to know that that's your goal, how you plan to attain that, what sort of obstacles might be in the way of that, that the institution or the college might be able to help you with. So mapping that process out is a, a very good precursor, hopefully, to student success. And then the early alert and intervention systems that we can create on behalf of all of our students, very, very important for us to do. And I have had opportunities to uh, create some interesting ones and ones that I think might play very well at uh, Sky CTC. 
Uh, the next step that I would really focus on is pushing forward on your diversity, your multiculturalism and inclusion program. Uh, that, as part of your former and current strategic plan, is fantastic. Uh, I would continue to build upon that. I think that, again, can help you differentiate yourself from other competitors uh, within the sector as well. But it is also so vital and so important in today's global economy that students recognize themselves as a global citizen and what it means to be a person uh, in that environment. Uh, so often we focus on the race, racial, the ethnic profile, and that is important, but we also need to look at gender and social economic status and educational uh, attainment, sexual orientation, all of those very important and very vital uh, elements for our institutional growth and success. And then finally, I probably would focus on that close working and connection and collaboration with our education partners. Uh, when we talk about opening that front door process as wide as we can, when we talk about access points, uh, we really want to work with our K-12 through partners. Uh, we want to work with our business partners. Certainly with the K-12 through systems, we want to get into those programs as early as possible. And I really do believe that working with the middle school levels is essential and building the thought process that uh, community and two-year college systems may be the right fit for them, exposing them to it, uh, getting them involved and invested, uh, and working with our partners within that K-12 through system to feel connection. Uh, a connection and an opportunity for engagement with the college as well. And then uh, closing that back door, we've talked about opening the front door to uh, as much access as possible, but closing that back door tight in terms of helping the student recognize those success markers. So we can do that with our K-12 through partners and our business partners. But then we also want to work very closely with our four-year institutions about creating seamless integrated steps for those students who want to engage uh, within that four-year college design. So helping create those preferred partnerships with uh, those area four-year institutions. I know you're in close proximity and connection to Western Kentucky. Uh, we would probably sit down and work with them about uh, creating beyond the steps of just very close articulation and matriculation guides, uh, but working on preferred partnership programming. Could we look at uh, dual admission status? Could we look at um, campus change environments and campus change days where we bring multiple units from the Western Kentucky University to the Sky CTC campus so that uh, they can meet with students who are going to change their campus locations uh, to that four-year system so they feel much more connected, much more comfortable, they know people, places, uh, individuals before they actually step foot on, on the new ca uh, campus environment. So that's a little bit about what I believe those opportunities for excellence might be. And then finally, let me address my, kind of my background, my val values and experiences and how they might integrate and align, hopefully, with uh, Sky CTC as well. So that you know, I am a product of the two-year college environment. Uh, I was the first in my family to attend uh, college and started at Coastal Carolina Community College. Uh, I remember that, foresee your future. <laughs> I always, will never forget that process. Uh, but my father was the first in his family to actually graduate from high school. And I recognize the value uh, and the importance of education. And the two-year college sector can be the true disruptor for intergenerational poverty. So understanding its importance, being an advocate for the two-year college experience is essential to me. And it's a, pos, a part of who I am. Uh, I believe that no matter what the question, education is the answer. And certainly the two-year college environment provides opportunities for each and every individual to at least attempt to meet their maximizing goals for themselves and, and their families. Uh, in terms of what I value and why, first and foremost, I am quite uh, connected to my family. I believe um, the value of family first and foremost. I am I'm married. I have three sons. I have three yellow labs. Uh, my family is very important to me. They are an extension of who we all are. But aside from that, I am also very invested in community engagement and community service. I think it's very important for we as community college administrators to model that expectation, to continue to help nurture and guide your community. I believe in the value of integrity. I believe in the value of leadership and engagement and the value of team and team designs and team construct. That's a reason that this position and your institution is very um, interesting to me and very engaging. So I hope I've answered enough of your questions and I know that was a quick time. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to spend some time together in the near future. But if not, I wish you nothing but success in your selection process and thank you very much for your time today.